So in this video, we're going to have a very quick look around uh, the VMS platform that we've got. So to start with, when you log in, you'll be presented with a home page that looks like this. So this is your home page. You'll see you've got various options here. You've got your main view, playback, log search, topology management, AI search, data analysis, AI scene, device management, alarm config, cruise settings, account management, local record, system config, AI config, EMAP config, and EMAP monitoring. So we're going to cover off just the basics in this video of what most people will want to use the VMS for in its most basic fashion. So here is a list of all your devices. Uh, you'll find them all down here and you can search for them. For example, like so. And up here, you can also click on upgrade. So if there was a firmware upgrade given to you by our support team, you can click on here, put the name of the path in and then click on upgrade. Also from here, obviously you can see uh, any IP addresses, what the current version of the software is, whether it's active or not. Uh, you can see the ID here as well, if you wanted to share the ID with anybody. Uh, here you can modify any of the setup. Uh, so obviously here you can name the CCTV. You've got the login type, which is either IP or the P2P ID. This is the port, the username and the password. Goes in there. If I click on the remote parameters, that would take me into the box. Uh, which will look very similar to if you were actually on the recorder itself. And we'll just wait for this to load. Uh, so here you can see um, that it's very, very similar to being directly on the box itself, where you can check everything from you know your channels, your record, your AI functions, your network and your system. You can also check on what's pulling PoE power. And you can do pretty much everything you can do uh, from the recorder itself. Uh, here we can log out of this recorder if we wanted to. Uh, we can delete it from there. So if we come out of this page now and then for searching to find other items on your network that you can add, you can click on the auto search up here. This will give you a list of uh, your devices and then to add them you just simply click on the plus button like so. and put in its username and password and then that will add it and then it will appear in all of your equipment up there. So now if we head over to the main view, this is where you can watch uh, what cameras you've got. So for example, we can click here and we can say we want to look at the right drive and here you'll see a picture of that driveway. Uh, so if we now head back to the home page, so obviously you can have and you can change your layouts and things in here as well. So we can go to like 64 channels and here you can turn on the audio. Uh, you can stop all the channels. If you've got warning lights on your camera, you can activate them from there. You can also turn on the lights. You can also turn on a buzzer, uh, etc. So if you just scroll along the bottom, you'll see uh, what all of the functions are. Obviously here you can activate your two-way two talk and device talk. You can do your zooming in, you can take a manual record of the screen uh, and you can also take uh, a snapshot as well. So let's head back to the uh, home page. The next main thing that you'll want to play around with would be your playback in, in an event that you have an incident. So here you can select the recorder that you want to um, get the footage from. So we could say we're looking for some footage from the right camera here. Anything under here that's indicated with a red dot underneath means that you've got recordings. So we could just say search here and this will list out all of the recordings. However, you can filter those down to depending on how you set up your recorder. So if you if you are just using motion detection, you could just click on the motion. If it was an alarm recording, we could just select the alarm and you'll see there that there was some motion activated there. So we can just play that if we wanted to there. Now also what you can do from here is you can click on download and you can download some preset footage time. So from 508 to 509, for example. 
Uh, you can play multiple channels. So if I wanted to play one and four and keep them synchronized together, I can click this button uh, before I'm pressing play. If I wanted to cut some footage out, I can select the camera from here and I can just move the cursors around for the times that I want to get the recordings from. And then you just click on save. I can pause the recording, stop all the channels and speed it up as well from there. Uh, if you're using uh, Smart, which we'll cover on another video, an image tag and event, that would be on the more advanced video. But that's your basic functions there for getting your playback. Uh, you've obviously got things like log search that can be quite handy. So you can look at a particular device here and we can look at... Um, Uh, so we can pick this recorder and we can say let's look at the logs so here's uh, like the alarm logs we can also look at operational logs uh, you can set the start and end time here as well and you can get your system logs and you can also search by usernames etc uh, etc et up there so that's quite a handy little tool uh, AI search we'll cover off um, on another video. One thing that is worth mentioning here is in your system config when you're downloading footage make sure that you set this to the file type that you want. Normally an mp4 AVI is best so I would always select like mp4 just click save and then as you download from your VMS this will tell you where it's put in the uh, the path of the any pictures and videos and that's the maximum file size it will download at a time just click save and then that's where your footage will sit thank you for watching